This cylinder contains a Kerta calculator. To open it up you have to turn this top clockwise for some reason. And there it is. It's a small mechanical calculator. It was designed in 1938 by Kurt Herzstark, but he couldn't manufacture it then because of the war. And um, he was um, he was Jewish and he was uh, put into the uh, concentration camp Buchenwald, and he survived there because he was able to, uh, yeah, because he was allowed to uh, develop this machine further. At the end of the war, he uh, looked around for uh, a financial backer, and he found that in the Prince of Liechtenstein, and uh, there the uh, Container Company was set up to manufacture it. It uh, started production in 1948, and it, it uh, ended in 1972. Uh, the serial number on this one uh, shows that this what this uh, Kurta was made in 1964. Uh, it's used in a very similar way to a, a pinwheel machine. You have an input register here, uh, a main register, output register here, and a counter register here on, with the silver background. And this ring, you have to fold it out, and this is the clearing mechanism. So, uh, let me input a number. You use these uh, sliders. You slide them down, and uh, you can see the digit above each slider uh, changes as you do so. So now I've entered 1234, and if I turn the crank once, it, it gets added to the output register, and the counter register is increased by one. I've now turned the crank three times. So this is three times the input number, and the counter is now three. To multiply by larger numbers, you can uh, shift the uh, carriage. That's uh, this whole top section. You can turn it to the next digit. And now, turning the crank adds ten times that number because it's shifted a column, and uh, the tenth. Uh, the tens digit in the uh, revolution counter is uh, is increased. So now I've multiplied the input by 13 and the result is 16,042. You can also uh, subtract. Unfortunately you can't just turn the crank uh, counterclockwise, it, that doesn't work. You have to turn it clockwise but first you lift it up. It shows a red ring here, so now it's in subtraction mode. And if you turn the crank, it now subtracts the number. And yeah, so now, because I was still shifted one digit, so now I've um, undone this uh, tens uh, digit, so that's back to just three times the input. To clear the uh, output register or the uh, counter register, you have to move this uh, uh, clearing ring around. But you can't just do that straight away, you have to lift up the carriage before it can move. So you lift up the carriage and then you can either move ar across the, uh, the uh, revolution counter or you can move across the uh, output counter output register. You can leave the, uh, the clearing ring either here or, or on the other end. There. And uh, yeah, there's a small switch at the back here. This is uh, used in uh, division. If you uh, switch this, now the uh, Revolution counter counts how many times you've subtracted the number. So, um, if we uh, if we add this number still, it's twelve hundred thirty-four. Oh, I've still got the carriage moved along. Let me just clear everything up. It's 
So if I have 1234, as you can see the uh, revolution counter is now all nines because it's subtracted one, but uh, I want to clear that anyway. So the revolution counter is now at zero. And suppose I want to divide this by uh, five. So first you put five in the input and you shift the carriage to the left end and you start doing long division. So first I subtract five from this 12 here and I do that twice. That leaves two. And I shift one along. So now I have 23. So I can subtract four times. So to reduce it to th just three, shift the garage again. Here is a 34. So I can subtract it six times. And that leaves the remainder of four. And the, uh, the revolution counter shows the uh, result of the division 246. Now, to pack it away again, you, you have to fold the clearing lever away. You have to release this catch, push this little button here so that you can fold it in. And then you can uh, put it back into its, uh, into its case. I now also want to show you some other uh, items I have belonging to the Carter. I have, uh, for example, here a, a table of uh, square root uh, numbers. It uh, explains how you can uh, calculate the square root and has a, a table that helps you to do it. You can e actually calculate it uh, up to nine digits although that works best on a type 2 uh, character because uh, yeah that has enough digits to do this I also have uh, this uh, yeah this list showing the uh, the prices of the character And uh, yeah, the business card of the publicity manager of Contina is a is a baron in Liechtenstein. Here's an advertising uh, leaflet, but uh, on the back it has a, a large. Um, calculation, or, or it shows you how to calculate uh, a particular problem of a triangulation where you have the coordinates of two points and the angles from there to some unknown, unknown point and you want to calculate the coordinates of that unknown point. It's a, it's a really complicated uh, calculation but it, it can be done on a cursor but yeah it's, it's very complicated and um, I have something more interesting here, which is uh, here's a here's a, a letter showing that uh, there was a a curter uh, given on loan to a Colonel Hax in the intelligence division of the military, and um, there's a another letter here from a year later that uh, fr from that Colonel Hertz to uh, Kurt Herzstag and uh, yeah uh, referring to uh, a discussion they had earlier about uh, a special version of a Kurter that's uh, essentially two Kurters uh, joined together and this would um, help with uh, calculations for artillery and um, y there are pinwheel machines that have uh, two uh, 
registers side by side, sort of double sized uh, pinwheel machines. And uh, those are used for uh, calculations that involve coordinates, so that you can have an x coordinate in one side and the y co coordinate in the other. And uh, here is a, a, a blueprint or some other kind of uh, wet photocopy process that shows you these coupled curtains. So you have one curtain here side by side with another. Only one of them has the uh, uh, crank. And uh, here's, a, here's a top view. Kurt Herzstahl did uh, patent uh, this uh, configuration as well. He had lots of patents on the curtain, but uh, later, in, in the mid-50s, he patented this as well. On the, uh, on the back it says, only one turn indicator dial needed, only one reversing lever needed. So really, you, you only need one counter register, is what it's saying. So, that was the Curta calculator. Thank you for watching.